I think okay. they're all back. Okay. Well, welcome back from the break. As I said earlier, we tried to squeeze as much time out of the last presentation as possible so that we can add it to this discussion. But even so, we only have about a minute and a half, unfortunately, to hear each of the reports. So we'll ask the reporters to give us a bottom line on any new insights that emerged, but it's also okay to say we're stuck and we, we, and we reflected instead on the hopelessness of our current situation. There needs to be space for that too. So I'll go right to room one, we'll go in order. So whoever was the speaker for room, for, for room one, if you could wave your hand so we see who that is, and then you could begin speaking. Okay, Larry, take it away. Don't forget to unmute Yes, yourself. you need to unmute, Larry. Yes. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Uh, I assume that our, our, our task was to look for, for uh, breakthroughs so we could uh, strengthen the movement of the World Federation. Uh, and I, and we, we uh, discussed that. And just to summarize things, uh, one uh, suggestion was to, to find a, a famous person that, that would articulate our, our case to the general public. Uh, another idea was a, a, a major uh, public relations campaign, uh, assuming we could uh, develop a sufficient uh, uh, funding for it. Uh, another I I idea was to build up our uh, CGS membership from its rather uh, low level uh, so that we could actually uh, become a mass movement with uh, chapters all over the country. Uh, a, a third idea was to uh, promote uh, Tad Daly's book, since that's, that's going to be making the, the, the case for World uh, Federation. Um, another idea was to do a greater outreach to the non-English speaking people of the world. Uh, that, that is, they have a good deal to, to gain by, uh, by World Federation, but um, an and English language version of the uh, campaign uh, wasn't going to reach them necessarily. Um, uh, another idea uh, suggested was to organize the, the tens of millions of uh, stateless people, uh, refugees now, uh, and therefore uh, here are, are people who, who don't have allegiance to any nation who are, are, are desperately uh, seeking to go somewhere else. Uh, and so they should be uh, particularly interested in, oh, that means time's up, Donna? Yes, All right. time's up. All right. No, so. But this is great. We're going to advocate for getting your group back together again. Uh, the, the productivity seems to be endless. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to go on to group two. Could the spokesperson wave their hand so we can actually see who's speaking? Okay. Larry David, take it away. Now, we, um, uh, we top, hit on a few things. Uh, a general consensus that uh, the approach that Andreas Rommel was um, was advocating, and uh, and also Fernando Iglesias, that those two <clears throat> those two routes, parliamentary assembly and and regional federations, um, appear to be uh, consensually uh, adopted by our group as as the likely pathways, the others appearing to be blocked. There was also, and Ron Glossop will appreciate this, a strong, uh, uh, compelling pitch for, um, for a common language to be focused on in the world and, um, and that uh, uh, it would be transformative. We talked about artificial intelligence as an alternative to that common, to that, and the possibility of computer translations. Um, and, uh, uh, and there, of course, uh, there, there, and there was some focus on, um, on, uh, the declining, uh, 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 democratic strength and the growing autocratic strength and, and how to, uh, how to, uh, promote and, uh, and, and better, um, support, uh, the democracies and, and finding, um, uh, countries that would do that, uh, uh, democratic countries that would come together uh, purposefully to defeat autocracies. Thank right. you, Larry. 
time's up. Thank you. Terrific. Man, we're going to be very busy with all these ideas. Okay, breakout room three, I see David Orton's hand. In one way or another, our group uh, had emphasized all five roads uh, towards a world federation. One idea was to focus on a particular problem like climate change and create a, a kind of mechanism that could solve and focus on one particular problem the way the uh, you know, uh, European Union began. Another one would be to expand the uh, European Union since it's been successful uh, to try and promote that in other parts of the world. Then there was strong support for uniting the democracies and also for uh, trying to uh, reform the current United Nations uh, by uh, the uh, uh, Articles uh, 109. And then another person mentioned that we need to find politicians who will support uh, the idea, uh, just as uh, WFA had a number of uh, American politicians who supported World Federation, uh, we need to find uh, more in the present time in order to move forward. Great, thank you, David. Okay, our next group is uh, group four, breakout room four. Okay, Jane, you need to go off mute and take it away. Um, so we focused on ways of getting popular support. Um, one idea that came out was to, if we could partner with an, with an organization like Global Citizen that has the numbers, not really the ideas. Um, another one was to point out to people who it is that benefits from the current system and how they are disadvantaged by that. Um, we also talked about having somebody run for office and have the um, World Federation be part of their platform, um, just as a way of getting attention, getting the idea out there. Um, but, uh, we talked about pop social media possibilities. And I think the idea that got the most traction and the one we developed in the most depth was um, a letter writing campaign to our co to Congress members. And we decided that a good topic for that kind of campaign would be the UNPA. Mm -hmm. Do you know about this? Uh, would you be interested in participating? So that's what came out of uh, our group. Great, terrific, thank you so much. Group five, we have a spokesperson for group five. Okay, Drea. Um, we actually hit quite a bit of walls um, just because you know the ultimate vision um, is, um, to a quote, like not on 99% of people's radar. And um, also there's concerns of like the, the coalitions that are formed and what their agenda, the other's agendas are. And, and then politicians coming in actually that um, may take over and their agendas may be not uh, as altruistic as world federalists. And then there's of course, always the concern of corruption and how do we structure in a way to keep that? So that kind of kind of held us back. Um, but then there was one really, you know, like we need to have more academic um, discussions on what's going on, you know, academically. And Joe Schwartzberg was brought up. Um, and then we we're like, well, we can actually take some of these ideas and, and put them into play in, in real world, um, especially in the hands of youth to help them. So it's not just an academic and theoretical, but then it becomes, this real world thing, so a uh, solution that we can all work on together. Um, but anyways, we, we had more walls than we had solutions, I'm afraid. Okay. More walls than doors at the moment. Yes. Okay. Okay. Last but not least, group six. Okay, Claire. Uh, yes, uh, we decided that we didn't need to wait for uh, people to appoint uh, some uh, politicians to write a, a constitution. Uh, that um, individuals could do it themselves, like the uh, Declaration of Human Rights, which was just wrote and written by a person. Uh, and also, there tend to be uh, quite a few people who are um, anti-intellectual a bit. 
Uh, so not to be held back, there are a few people in the world that like to uh, be involved. And I, we recommend that they just form a, a parliamentary assembly uh, based on Joe Swartz's uh, uh, proportions uh, and uh, other people can join in. Great, thank you so much. I, I, I must say, I'm glad we're recording this <laughs> so we, we can review it and get all these ideas. I, I haven't gotten approval from my board to say this, but, exec, but as executive director, I'd like to say you're all hired. Um, but, um, but first we got to raise the money. So you'll, 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 you'll hear back from me. But since we can't start the, the salaries right away, we can give you a break for all the hard work that you've done. So we'll go into a break. We're gonna change gears now and go into our annual awards ceremony after the break. So we have